Mm. Oh my goodness. It's By the way, the real thing I wanted to say is Bali is not cheap at all. Like at all. I mean, in at all, okay? It's not cheap. I mean, no, it's not. <laughs> so, I got a few things. It's so funny cuz I today I went to the market to do one thing. That was to eat that tasty yummy ceviche cuz it's like my favorite food ever. And I really love it. And I saw it on Instagram last year and I bookmarked it in my head. And then I went to that market last week, last Sunday. I had the ceviche and then I wanted to go back again because it's only every Sunday to have one last ceviche because this is my last week in Bali. And then just like that, I end up buying dresses. Like, I, I, <laughs> I, I have a problem with dresses, I swear. <laughs> dresses and jewelry at the same time. How cute is this? and how cute are these and also surprise surprise i ended up buying this beautiful perfume collection thingy um and i don't know i really like buying unique I really like buying unique perfume, like no crazy brand name. I, I like brand names too, but I also like no crazy brand names. And also especially that when it's made like artisan perfume that's made locally. And it's funny because this is not a smell that I would be into at all. This is not my, my type of smell. But somehow, let's see how, ooh, I like that. Cause, mm, ooh, I also like this one. That's actually funny cause I sprayed three perfumes on me and I watched them develop throughout the day. That one is more like, <laughs> the first one is something that I would pick, but I didn't pick it. It's, it smells a little bit more like the last perfume I had. Mm. That one, interesting. The one I ended the the the, blah, 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 blah. the perfume I like the least is the one that ended growing up on me, growing on me, not growing up, growing on me. It's interesting. It's weird. Like I'm all over the place. Um, I wouldn't buy those perfumes usually, but I'm actually really curious and I want to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. I got something. I like wood, but I'm kind of like a little bit picky with my wood. So I got black wood and Vika wood. I've never heard that that was before musk and citrus and oh my god it's a brand called Anoya, and it's made in bali in indonesia and i think that's such a nice little unique gift um they have an instagram page called Anoya dot artisan perfume and mm, oh my goodness it's called the name of the perfume is um which is weird because it's like men in french I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a French perfume maker behind this somewhere because there's a lot of French people here in Bali and mm, that's actually really, really good. I can't wait to wear it. I like that they have a little tiny 30 milliliter bottle and I already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it, it's gonna grow on me, I'm gonna love it and then I'm gonna run out and then I'm gonna start obsessing over it. That's just how it usually goes. Mmm. This one is called Fam. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's so, so artistic. I mean, so creative. Fam, which is women, woman, and singular. That one is a sweet, how do you say that? Peony? Peony? That perfume. Black opium, green tea, and floral. Mm, I'm telling you, it's just. Mm, that one is really interesting, but surprisingly, I really like this one. Um, um is just um really took me by surprise. It's not my smell at all. I don't. It gives me. It's weird. It's like a wood mixed with mixed with a a little bit of like um. Fruity, kind of like Starbucks. No, not like Starburst. You remember those Starburst? Yeah. Honestly, it reminds me of the perfume I have at home that I hate, Born in Roma. <laughs> and, um, oh, that's how they do it. Well, interesting. 
so yeah that one reminds me of born in roma anyone that has born in roma it smells like that but with a dash of of wood of musk lovely I love it. So all this to say that Indonesia is not is not cheap, especially Bali. Bali, I don't know about the rest of Indonesia, but Bali is not cheap, okay? I really there's so many cute things. I that's just the way I like to travel. I really like to just be like a local to be honest with you. I'm not really much of a um top 10 things to do like as in attraction, those famous attraction. I haven't even done one water temple. Maybe I'll do it eventually when I come back. But I haven't done any of those. So it's just like more like going with the flow and walking around and seeing what beautiful dresses they have and supporting the local economy, which is also really important for me. Um, mm, mm, so fresh. So yeah, I, I don't know. I might do a... Oh, it smells so good. So good. <laughs> I'm not used to staying in a service, you know, villa, like a hotel. Usually I'm more like I rent an apartment and stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite nice. Uh, the construction thing is just like, ooh, it's everywhere. You can see them here. I just have to tune them out with the view. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say it's nice. You just get back home and then they make your bed like it's magic. <laughs> I like this. It's spoiling me a little bit too much. And today I was walking and I'm like, damn, okay, I'm thick. Like, the hell happened? I remember I had six bags and a V and then one day I wake up and I'm like, thick. I'm not gonna lie, I like myself either way. Like, both like this or with the six bags and the V and all that stuff. But I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> thick like shouty like but honestly i don't know what happened oh home sweet home i'm gonna nap if the construction will allow me to nap and oh my god i have work to do <laughs> i just remembered that <laughs> uh, yeah so i'm happy there's like a desk or maybe i'll just go walk out i'll probably just go work outside i need to find a cafe that is like quiet and not like Instagrammable in the sense of like you can come with your laptop and stay there for a few hours. So I'll see what I come up with.